Hey folks, Con Ulrich here, back with a little bit more CK3. When we left each other last time, we had just finished kind of cementing our control over here in the northwest, and we're now planning on going after King Anso over here in the east. Um, for, you know, the most brief version of this is that I want to try to control Navarra by the end of today. And honestly, frankly, if I try to declare war, it's going to be really expensive. I don't really feel like dropping all of that. Um, plus, he is... Oh my god, he's amazing. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, we'll see if we can get rid of him. Because if we can get rid of him, we may be able to turn around and put somebody softer on the throne. Easier to kill. Easier to conquer. Plus, I'm pretty sure at this point... Maybe... Maybe... We declare a war here? Damn. We just lost the chance to it. Um, no, maybe we didn't. Vassal of the Emirate of Toledo. So Toledo is a little bit further south. Oh, never mind. Probably not a great idea. Yeah, first of all, it's super high. Second of all, good luck getting any sort of bit in there. Yeah. Well, we'll work towards is killing here. Ah, Rooster's an unusually calm child. He doesn't think a lot, but he tell he's always thinking about something. Now, quite humorous to me is the fact that um, this is totally Rooster, from our, as well as I know him in real life. This is totally Rooster. Um, now, I'm a little bit concerned over here about this one. Apparently, um, Rooster's cock is not crowing, if you know what I mean. So, hopefully we'll pick up something a little bit better here in the near future. Oh yeah, definitely. You better be freaking terrified of me, man. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, I'd worry about getting a marriage for him, but eh, let's not worry about it right now. Hey folks, how you all doing? This is Connell work here with some more CK3. When last we saw each other, we had just finished kind of consolidating over here in the west of the Kingdom of Leon. And to be fair, we had also just um, been basically named a Kingslayer. So, Kingslayer and a murderer over here. Uh, but on the plus side, we have um, plenty of heirs. We've got two kids right now. I do want to... What? Uh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Rooster, our heir over here, first of all, um, apparently is quite sterile. So that's a bit of a problem here. But he is quite curious as well. So I can definitely see that being the case of, um, you know, our actual Rooster in real life here. Let's see if I can go and start cutting off these people. I don't want to be lovers with all of you. It's going to cause issues. Um, nah. Some of these things, I don't really see the need to romance and become soulmates and stuff like that. And there we go. Apparently, uh, the Count Alfonso, Orica's husband, has decided that he's going to go and name me an adulterer. <laughs> so, everyone's shunning me. Everyone hates me. And my spouse is quite upset with me, as you might suspect. Uh, I, I somehow doubt I'm going to be able to do anything like divorce her. That's going to be impossible, I'm going to guess. I could try to seduce her. Meh. Whatever. Whatever. So we're, the, we're an adulterer for a couple of years. And yeah. So I'm no longer um, even dutiful. I'm just a sinner. Which is just not surprising. And everyone knows that uh, her unborn child is just basically a bastard. It's unfortunate. Okay. Now I could go, in this case, and make Urika a little bit upset. In fact, she would hate my guts. Meanwhile, you, on the other hand, uh, can I, uh... No. So she loses the unfaithful opinion, which is 60 down. And my sister, though, at the other case is... You know, but I, I have to kind of go with uh, my queen here. Which means that you hate me. And that's okay. We're going to have to go and, and get rid of her sooner or later. Sooner seems to be the case. I just have to be worried, because there's probably a faction... Meh. Oh, virus not being a lover. Don't really much care. That's fine. 
if only my scheme can come to fruition over here, this is the important one. If I can kill King Anso, first of all, that kills a lot of his um, alliances to like France, which is just huge. He's got an intense amount of troops already. Ally strength, yeah, if I can't even remotely attack him now, but if I can kill him, then I can turn around Please let me just be nice. Um, I can turn it around and go after his kid, who's like two, and hopefully make life a little bit easier for me. Well, the time has come. With a recent upset among the peasants of Pamplona, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of King Anso. With coin in the right pockets and agitators in every corner, we could stage an entire riot while the king is passing through the streets. Let's hopefully find this um, successful. He survived. Oh my god. Okay, well, um, cool. My actually successfully wild them up. When the mobs started rioting, and so soldiers cut them down. Survivors fled in terror. So the agitators were killed. But I think we can try to turn this around. We, we can still save this. We can still save this. No one else is going to probably join us. Maybe the princess in France? But we can, we can still save this. It'll take us another year, but we can make this work. Or maybe even faster. Interesting. I can use this to speed this up, actually. No, no, we're gonna do this. We're totally taking this. Let's go. So we're going to try apparently going after him again with some more peasants. So we'll, we'll give that a go. I want to pause this real quick because I had this open over here on the right hand side. So one thing we didn't really go too much into this past time was the idea of mercenaries and these men at arms as well. So I think what I'm going to actually try to do is consider going into <clears throat> excuse me some men at arms here. And part of me what I want to maybe do is put a mangonel create this and yes it's going to be expensive when I raise them but thankfully so full strength in five months. I probably should have done this earlier, but oh well. Familial Kinslayer. There we go. Apparently everyone named me. So I, yeah, I, I just cannot catch a break on that one. Good lord. I could, however, quickly turn around and 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 beast her with this. So if I do this, it's going to be slower. She, what does she have? She has an heir. Her mother's the heir. Okay. Problem is, if I have the mother here, I need to go and raise my armies and take them out almost immediately. So, Kinslayer, that sucks. Oh, well. Oh, by the by. Orica, my dear. It's time for you to die. Uh, not least because she's trying to go and install one, I think, one of her children, isn't it? Maybe I'm incorrect in that one, but she's trying to go and put Infanta Elvira. She should put, she wants to put my sister on the throne. I'm sorry, I just, I can't deal with that. You know what, there's enough of this family bickering. It's time for us to end it all by just killing, you know, lopping off the head. Um, it will be interesting to see if anybody wants to actually join it. It appears that three people already want her dead, so there's not even point even trying to modify it there. What I might do, though, is I might switch out... Whoo! Look at you! She's already mad at me anyway. Dude, this guy's amazing. Jeez! Okay. Uh, Court Intrigue. Let's see if I can make this a little bit better here. So Magic Factor Main, nah, Chivalry. Let's do Chivalry for right now to increase the Marshal and things like that. Now, this Steward is good. I really wish I could turn around and appoint this guy. In fact, I'm going to. How about you, Marshal Gutierrez? He's good, but he's just he's just not amazing. Some of these people just hate me because I'm a murderer. I can deal with that. 
I'm not thrilled with it, but I can deal with it. Um, and the, big, the biggest issue is I just got like, all these guys who just don't really like me just enough to be a pain. So, in any particular case, let's see what happens. We'll get ourselves ready to go. Yep, there we go. Well, she's targeting me, but she's out. I'm getting rid of her. I can't deal with that. Full strength. So, they're paying the full maintenance. What I probably still will do is before she's able to go and create any kind of alliances, let's see if I can quickly get a claim on them. They're inferior. Good. Raise all armies. Awesome. We're elite quality. So our troops are just kind of slowly build on in. So I'm going to take this very, very quickly. As soon as I rapidly can. And with these seven siege weapons that I have, um, 1.5 per day is awesome. So you can see right now, up to 200. I have to fill this entire bar before I can claim any kind of territory. And yes, the amount of money that I'm making right now is very, very minimal. It's only two ducats, you know, every single month. But, 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 um, you can see right now, we have to kind of definitely bring it forward as quickly as humanly possible. Because the quicker we can take this, um, the less chance anybody else can kind of go, first of all, take advantage of us, and second of all, that we can move into other places. So I could go and give her something. Let's not worry about Utica right now. Let's just go and just kill her. Let's get it done. I'll check into this here. So I think part of what I want to necessarily do is maybe I want to gain some more dread for right now. It might not be the worst thing in the world. But by the same token... Maybe I want to go over here digging for dirt and get kidnapper. I mean, this job done right is awesome. The scheme chance actually, you know what? Let's just let's just gonna go a flat plus twenty five there. That's good. We'll take it. Maximum two months left. Okay, I can tell you from another one of these that I was running actually just off off camera. That um, took a very similar kind of approach. This entire effect, and what ended up happening is I was trying to take over this particular piece right here. This thing, Tudela. And Tudela was going to take me something like 14 months. It was an obscene amount of time. And right now, I am losing a couple of troops here and there, which is unfortunate. But you can see right now, we are just progressing just brilliantly quick. This whole men at arms plus here is amazing. And honestly, I kind of want to go and see if I can even increase that. So, gain that already. Awesome. So, supply limit is going to be too big there. So, what we'll do is we'll pick up. Let's put it in half, probably. And then... It's exposed. That's fine. I like to point out the fact that even exposed, I think, yeah, it's still 100%. People still want to get rid of her. They just can't stand her. So you guys are going to move here. My other troops are going to move up into the mountains. And they're not stupendous quality. In fact, it's pretty awful. But we can pretty, pretty quickly take this out. And that's the important part here. So hopefully I'll see you guys after we get a, you know, a removal here. Hey guys, forgive me if there's a little bit of a jump cut going on here. Um, ended up... Ooh, one second. Interesting. Breach! Nice, we have a breach now on the walls. Awesome. Okay, so I'll, I will go and explain this in just a second here. Um, I had completely finished the war. It took us actually not too long to handle it and get it done. But then we had a game crash and I was trying to figure everything out at the end of it. So I'm not saying I'm Nostradamus, but outside of a couple of things, we should be in pretty good shape. I think what I would like to do is saddle you over here into the mountains. So if not the hills, excuse me. So if I can, if I need to, I can skip over here to the east if troops come down from the north, which is entirely possible. I don't care about that anymore. Let me dump that for the moment. All right. So, um, cool thing about this. So I know this is a case over here, and this gonna slow us back down, at least to let it progress. Uh, one thing that's important for us to kind of see is this whole idea of assaulting the fort. Now, you can't assault the fort unless there's a breach in the walls. So you can see right now we're able to get a breach. Thank you, Manganels. And you can assault the fort, and what that'll do is it adds 2.2 per day, but causes 10% casualties. So this is the same thing as, you know, uh, forcing an assault if you were any other kind of... Um, EU4, I think maybe CK2, I, I couldn't tell you for sure. 
Uh, but part of me is considering... I get three per day, so I'll maybe I'll wait a couple days and just kind of throw one in here. And, you know, we'll press F for, you know, the guys attacking the walls. <laughs> Not for nothing, but everyone's starving. Sickness, starvation, there's a breach in the walls. Let's just get this done. They're surrendering as well, so it's not going to save us a ton of time. It'll save us just a couple more seconds here or there. Plus, I can kind of show you how it works. And, um, there we go. Can you? Thank you. We actually have the queen. We took the queen hostage. Yes. All right. So another thing, as my troops are moving on over to take a look at, is the idea of prisoners. We haven't had a lot of, you know, sight of this just yet. Now, the queen. I could ransom her for 200. She'll definitely accept. That's fine with me. You can have her back. I will take the money. I will take the money and run. That's fine. To the heartless one. Oh, that's fine. Um... And you know what? If I can continue ransoming people, that's fine with me. Uh, people are under house arrest and stuff like that, that's fine. I'm guessing that they don't have a lot of money here. House arrest, he's my prisoner. Okay, cool. Nice. Here, ransom you too? Nice. Oh, she only does it one at a time. Yeah, I'm happy to bilk as much money as I can out of this. There's absolutely no reason why I shouldn't do it. And also, feel free to watch the siege time just completely go bloop. There we go. If three months. Go five months to three months. So it's a huge, huge bonus here to go from one to the other. Oh, okay, cool. This has also happened in the other, let's say, the other reality. Uh, Infanta Utica. I'm sorry, I gotta get rid of my sister. She's just causing too many issues here. Bam. Cool, I mean, everyone doesn't even know that it's me. Nice. Um, continue to let that run. She's not gonna bother. Let that happen there. That's fine with me. I just got a ton of money. No, 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 that was dumb, 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 dumb. Super dumb, okay. One thing I like is that technically the fort... Oh, shoot. I had a hole in the wall. Um, one thing I like about this to a certain extent is that the fort progress doesn't immediately just drop. I don't know how that ticks over just yet. But what I do know is that me taking this territory right here, the, uh, the barony of Nahera, or maybe less than that, I don't know, um, would allow me to get up to 100%. Which is great for me. Uh, now, I guess the question is, who do I want to kill? Because people continue to be a giant pain in the backside. Part of me wants to usher him off into that final bit of deathlessness. Maybe, however, I will... Oh, I'm scheming against Duke Oh, okay, cool. And she's, she is pregnant again. Hun, I am just so proud of you. I wonder if I could send you a gift. Nope, it's not going to do junk. I don't even remember who I'm trying to sway anymore, either. That's This is a problem. Whatever. How would you like stew? Uh, my prophet Guana. Hmm, she's an evil antagonist. I'm going to see what we have here in the kitchen. Because a piece of me is really quite nervous about what might happen here. Cool. So that's what managed now. Nice. Prisoners can be ransomed. So we'll send you back home. I can modify contracts. Yes, this is another one. Okay. So you are of Nevada. I don't really care if you hate me or not. Let really give me a whole lot? Nah. A little contribution. Meh. Meh. Let me also just disband all my armies for the time being. So I'm getting a lot more money here. I think I'll, I'm going to leave this for now. I want to see what the hook is. The hook is, oh, because she's a house head. That's why. And Count Munoz. No. There we go. So what do you think of me? Not a member of my house. Now I could go. I can't do anything. What the heck? Whatever. Whatever, whatever. There we go. Okay. 
So let's see what we got going on here. One second. Just while I'm thinking about it. Uh, I want you... Port Intrigue. My Intrigue is amazing. I'm not really sure I really need more Intrigue. Let's get Patronage. Alright. So, as I enter the kitchen, it lies dark and empty, the air heavy with smoke. In the corner, I find Juana's cookbook covered in stains. When cooking liver, it's been noted that excessive beer consumption can significantly lower the quality of the organ. A cold feeling settles in my chest as I turn to the another page. However, when cooking younger children beneath the age of... I'm sorry, there are many lengths I'll go to. What I will not do is I will not eat children. I know at that point ate a good meal, a small health boost and stuff like that, forget it. Bring me her head. I will not be a cannibal. Okay. Sorry, there's a there's a depth to which I will not go. Uh, what I will try to do, however, is I'm gonna try to see if I can build up my territories perhaps a little bit more. It's my holdings over here. Maybe I will go and put a farm in there. Benevente. I already have a hamlet, isn't that wonderful? Now, upgrading it, I need to keep building or its upgrades. Wow, that's an awful expensive thing. Pastoral lands, though, what I can do, I can put this up. And maybe what I'll do... is I will put down... walls and towers here. In Avila. So, let's see if I can increase this a little bit more, perhaps. No, I can do this. I can, I'm can. i missing the gold. But maybe if once I get any the, the gold, I can turn around and upgrade it and get a good amount of money over here to that. So holding taxes give me more money at the end of it all. And I'll actually go back to just regular speed here. So any second, boys. That'd be really nice if I can have that gold. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to increase, get some more taxes, and I'll probably see you guys in a little bit of time here. Interesting. So it's well known fact that courtiers will scheme and plot, but I may be able to use this to my advantage. If I can keep my courtiers suspicious of each other and distracted with infighting, they will not have time or resources to scheme against me. Now, I'm super dreadful right now, so I can gain a ton of prestige. I will get some more lifestyle experience. I can also try to push and do some intrigue challenges. Now, the challenges I haven't really touched upon too much, but it's a lot of basically saying, um, if I can get kind of roll an RNG number, and I, I think this probably gets re-rolled every single time you have a save, so you can probably save scum your way through it. But, as I'm looking at this, you could go and get people to mistrust each other. Um, I can gain court spies, which gives me scheme resistance, or I can do don't plot against me. I'm going to look this up, though. Oh, Skeeta doesn't really mind me that much. Treacherous villain. And he hates my guts. Um, you don't like me very much. You kind of like me, which is really weird. Part of me wonders if I should really even bother going through the whole madness. Uh, Intrigue. I'll worry about that, I guess, in a second. Nah, whatever. Still learning my way throughout the all of the uh, all of the various um, where is it? There we go. All the various pieces over here. So I could get a ton of intrigue and then start bouncing through stuff like malice implicit, but I don't really know that I really want to do that. I'll I'll go for the check. Nice. Okay, cool. So they start distrusting each other. That's great for me. I'm also going to go and ransom you. Nice. There we go. Cool. Now, one thing to see if I can manage, to see if I can force her to arrange a marriage with my son. Well, no such luck there. So I think what's going to happen here is we're probably going to end this pretty darn soon just because of the way that things kind of cut out. I don't want to go and get too much, but you can see we've continued to increase our territory further and further. Now, ideally, I'm trying to figure out a way, unpin that, figure out a way maybe to start moving over towards Aragon pretty soon. But Aragon technically, I think, is an ally of mine. No, he's not. Interesting. Got another son. She still hates my guts, doesn't she? Yeah, she hates me. 
He loathes me, actually. There you go, Salvador, congratulations. Um, so if I declare war for my claims, I'm inferior. Wait a second. Uh-oh, all babies cry, but with little Salvador, there is no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries, but her fur furrowed brow makes everything worse. The little lord is not gaining weight as he should. We will take good care of him, my lord, but in the end, his life is in God's hands. So, he's sickly. I don't want to kill him. But part of me wants to. Um, I'm not going to bother doing this. This is not going to be a good idea, I'm sure. Although... It would be super easy for me to get this. No, 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 you know what? We'll leave that until next time. Guys, for right now, I'm going to call it quits for right here. Um, obviously, of course, you want to be in this, let me know. If you guys uh, just have any thoughts and questions, I'll do my best to answer them. But until next time, this is Con Ulrich, and I'll see you all in a future episode.